All right, this is the Magic Circle. Uh, it's an early access game, and uh, I've actually had it on my wish list for a while now uh, because they announced they were intending to do a Linux port, uh, but it turns out they uh, they'd run into a bug in the version of Unity they were using, which I think is. Uh, 4.6 which which broke inputs on Linux and uh, they were unwilling to release a Linux build that they knew to be broken so they've been waiting for some weeks now to uh, get the bug sorted out uh, it turned out the bug was quite hard to track down in that the uh, Unity devs hadn't been able to uh, reproduce it but the, the devs of this game actually managed to come up with a test case which uh, demonstrated the issue and it's all fixed. All Unity developers will be getting the fix and, uh, you know, goodness will ensue. So, anyway, about this game. It's a uh, satirical game based around uh, the development of a sequel to a much-loved classic. Um, I've done the intro bit uh, and uh, got into what is the meat of the game, which is after the game, air quotes, which is what you uh, what's ready to be released as the game. So, there's a team of developers who are like gods in the world. There's you, who's a playtester, who's like a, uh, you know, uh, not very useful presence and uh, there's the spirit of the game which is trying to help you to complete the game despite despite uh, the uh, obvious dysfunction of the development team so it's it's quite interesting in that uh, the finished game will obviously uh, look like an unfinished game. So it's it's a bit of an awkward line to walk. They've got to uh, they've got to uh, make things look unfinished while uh, at the same time making it obvious that was a purposeful choice. So this is the. Uh, sketched in assets uh, which which demonstrate that the game isn't isn't complete as you walk over things you uh, sort of fill in the color there which is quite a nice effect and right you find these anomalies and you stick your hand in them Here it goes. Charge yourself up. Right mouse to take life. Left mouse to place a circle trap on the ground. So I should have said that that uh, thing up there, that's the uh, manifestation of the spirit of the game before the gods made the world everything looked like that just a big circle of nothing the trick is to stare into it and see anything else now when you make your own circle it's like ripping a black hole in theirs trap something inside and it ain't never the same again. Good. Now, if you see something that looks kind of ghostified, it means the gods unmade it. It takes life to bring it back. All right then. Let's just have a quick look at the map. Right. Okay. 
it's alright. So there you go, I, uh, you would have seen my PC specs, let's, uh, let's went past there, as well as my name, let's steal the life back, kind of that, right, so that bar at the bottom is my life, and then I presume as I come up here, I can, I can spend Hold. my life. Okay, intern. Is trusts you. Your new job is to convince him that you should build our big gameplay demo. First, convince me. I'm nervous. Your work is sort of the great love of my life. Uh, but speaking of Starfather, see this rando down here? Pretend this is Ish. Do I score any points with you if I just... Hey! No! Zero points. First up, that was a live play tester. You just changed the world for everyone. <laughs> Say that again. Uh, and second, that love crap? Clumsy. Button up your blouse. I don't need to see your soul, okay? That tester heard you. Hold up. This... This bridge was cut. And this zone isn't even ready for playtest. Who or what was that? I need intel. Uh, same time tomorrow? See, boss? With them around, fixing this world ain't an option. I call them sky bastards. But they ain't got the know-how to close the cracks. So now your life is gonna flow right back in there. And then... Payback. So that was the... Uh, level designer. Now, the god's biggest weakness is the past. And the if we intern. dig up something shameful enough, they'll crowd around it, pointing fingers, guaranteed. Then we jump out and ghost the sky bastard. Maybe even get inside it. And then... Well, the gods claim that they hold up the sky. But I say, knock it down. Don't you want to see what's behind it? So around the game you'll find these notes. Uh, it says, oh, we had to loot the bridge. This is why. Uh, we know it It totally messes things up. But since there are no quests anyway, it doesn't matter. Who cares? So we'll carry on in here. Can I suck that life back? No. So it's quite a uh, quite a nice graphical style. Oh, animal tracks. Oh, let's take that life. There we go. Now I'm dead. The gods made that thing hate you. They expect you to kill it. You can't. So, you either quit their game, or change the rules. So... Oh, I've got to set a trap. I see. Let's try that again then. Right, so I've trapped the creature. And now I can Good. Edit you the found creature. a way inside that monster's head. And like all the gods' ideas, he's only half a joke. All punchline, no setup. Think you can finish it? Right. You can't use a creature's powers yourself, but you can stitch them on to anything else. 
Mix and match body parts to get the job done. Yanking out his teeth, huh? Well, congrats. Now you're equally impotent. That'll work. Now he knows that hunting you is a sucker's game. See? Trap it with the circle, rewrite the rules it lives by. Anything a creature can do, you can yank that part out and stitch it into one of your pets. the mushroom. This is basically how the uh, game proceeds, from what I understand. So I can pick up the mushroom, I can throw it at things. There we go, let's pick up the howler. There we go. And set off. Uh, ladies, this is not the demo area. The intern is, uh, uh, practicing. I was reminding her that any color scheme must be approved by you. Coda can use any color she wants. In fact, Coda, come with me. Bring your opinions. I'm honored, my lord. <laughs> okay, I like that, but maybe don't ever do it. Oh, taking all the life. this out. the gods. I collect their voices as evidence, but they ain't free, so I have to spread them out, hidden in random objects like this. Sorry about that. Find something. Who what are these things? Hour. Zany mushroom. Oh nasty. Oh I'm dead. So, I've got full life. That's a mushroom. Let's, uh, let's rename the creature. Melee. 
My enemies are. Ha! So oh. now he'll murder his own kind. You made a self hating demon monkey dog. Let's set him on him. Go each other. And where's he going? That's what you look like, boss. The gods' plan was there'd be more than one of you heroes. But they canned that idea again. So now this thing is kind of stillborn. Maybe crack it open? See what happens? Oh, max life increased. So, uh, yeah, that's what about 15 minutes I've been playing. Let's uh, throw my. Oh, that's the one I killed already. Let's rename him to Chunda. Attach mushrooms. So I've got a chunder that attacks. All right, except of course. Except of course, the other chunder. His enemies. All right, his enemies is mushrooms. Let's see if we can uh, send on that mushroom. No. Oh well. So that's about 15 minutes of uh, gameplay. You can see sort of what it's doing. We've not had much of the. Uh, much of the uh, I'm going to make him there we go make him attach mushroom wizards so I've got two mushroom hunting chunders this ah, so this looks like the next area excellent so we'll watch this cutscene and then I'll uh, wrap up the video ooh yeah that stupid cinematic has glitched again you're stuck behind widescreen bars until you hard quit. Tell you what, though. As a gesture of good faith, I'll just break you out of story jail. There. Now imagine being stuck in that cutscene for ten actual years. That's my life here. When my game plays too rough for his story bible, Ish tears the controls right out of my hands. But I think you can help me get fired. I'm guessing you hacked in. Good. This game is broken, right? So exploit it. Abuse it. Make it chase you on a leash. I'll be watching. So the red eye is the level designer who has uh, signed some sort of uh, contract that she won't quit until the uh, game is finished with the uh, genius um, 
genius game creator guy, who I don't think we've seen so far. And then the intern uh, worships the game creator guy on the base of his first game that was more than 10 years ago. So there's uh, some plot going on there which I'm looking forward to seeing how it will develop. What's this? I don't know. And you can see, you know, the art style is quite interesting the way it all fits together with this sort of a uh, colory bit coming in. And it's not, you know, it's different to your uh, regular first person game. It's, it's a whole different experience all around. And uh, I'm really glad uh, the developers cared enough to release a decent Linux port. And uh, I look forward to playing it extensively in the weeks to come. Uh, it's on sale at the minute on Steam, so uh, grab it while it's cheap and uh, experience it for yourself.